All right. Listen, 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 listen. I love it when they doubt us, right? I made a lot of videos recently of the Bengals haters talking trash on us, talking bad about us. And to be honest, I love it. Because it's just like, it's what we need to go win a Super Bowl. It's just them trashing us and them acting like we're not good enough, right? Now, I've said many times that my opinions on Josh Allen is, I believe he's the third best quarterback in the NFL. And I think after Josh Allen, it really is a drop-off. This year, I will say Tua has changed my mind, and I think Tua is number four, and I think Tua is very much up there. As in, after Tua, I think it's a drop-off. So I think it's obviously Burrow, Mahomes, Allen, and then I think it's Tua, and then I think it's a cliff for the rest of the guys. But I will say that, you know, in my opinion, that I think Allen is... I don't think he's close to Burrow, but I think with the top three, you know, Burrow, Mahomes, and Allen, I think it's not really like, it's not a cliff. It's not like Burrow, Mahomes, or like, you know, Burrow, Cliff, Mahomes. It's very, very close between the three. They're all great quarterbacks. They're all amazing quarterbacks. And they all really thrive off of different aspects that make them great, right? Joe is, I think, out of all three, uh, I think Joe and Mahomes are the clutches of the three, okay? Both of them been to uh, Super Bowls, well, Super Bowl, Joe, for example. Bur uh, obviously, Mahomes has won two Super Bowls, right? Shout out to him for that. He has also lost a Super Bowl. Which I'm not, that's not me trashing him. I'm just going to put it out there, okay? And then, of course, you know, Joe has also been to a Super Bowl. So, I think in the clutchness factor is why the top two are the top two. But when it comes to all-out, pure quarterback that can do everything, Allen has that. Allen is a mobile quarterback. I don't know why my hair and my uh, beard is kind of messed up. But anyway, <clears throat> Allen can run. Allen can pass. I think when it comes to accuracy of, quarter of the quarterbacks, I think that 100%, you know, Joe is the best. I think Mahomes is very, very close to that, though. And I think that Allen is the least accurate of the three. And I think that sometimes, you know, Allen will throw, I won't say ducks, but sometimes he'll throw in, like, risky passes. And he's more of, a, like, a gussy gambler than Allen is. I'm sorry, than uh, Mahomes is and Burrow is. And I think that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's just different play styles. So... Let's just listen to this, because uh, you already know. You already know. I just want to get that out there, because, again, I'm 100%. I'm not a, you know, I'm not a hater of Josh Allen. I don't think he's a bad quarterback in any way. I think he's a great quarterback. I just think my quarterback is better, personally. But let's just listen to what he has to say. Josh Allen. And I do love Joe Burrow. I think Joe Burrow is a phenomenal player. Lights out. Great player. He is. But I won't take the best player. I think Josh, Josh Allen's a better quarterback. If I had to drop a quarterback and what he looks like, what could he do, his attributes, it's not even close, right? I, I played with Josh Allen. Yeah. And I seen Josh Allen before he had Stephon Diggs. He was, a good, he was a good quarterback, really good, but he didn't have a lot of weapons. I never seen Joe Burrow without his without the weapons over there. Mm -hmm. I would love to have them weapons as a quarterback. Mm -hmm. if, I had, if Josh Allen was over there with, with the Bengals, with that type of offense, oh my God. He could throw any good run. 1,000 yard rush in the back, and he got 1,000 yard receivers everywhere. So I don't want to get into that thing. I just know when I look at Josh Allen coming from Wyoming, I don't know what they taught him there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I don't know what he learned there. They taught him something good. Nah, 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 it was more just him. It was actually just more just him, right? Coach himself. Mm. Then he came to the, the, the Bills, and they got him better and better and better. Dave Ball helped out. I just think that if I had to trust in a quarterback, and you could talk about the up and downs of Josh Allen, but we all have that as quarterbacks. Yeah. We all have that. Nope. I mean, because I could forget some, some years or some games where, Josh, where uh, Joe Burrow gave up one pick, two pick, three pick, four, four picks. of them. Last year versus Steelers. I can, I can say that, yeah. right? Four of them. Yeah. We, and we can blame on the office line, whatever it is. But Josh Allen, if they when it when it comes to them big games, right? And yes, Josh, and Joe did beat him last year at home. But I look back into that game we played Patrick Mahomes and, yeah. uh, in uh, Kansas City. Twenty twenty. Come yeah. on, man! Like that's that's who he is. He can throw any, can run, he can do everything you want. So it's a close pick. Yeah. I'm gonna go with Josh Allen because what I know about him playing with him, I know what he brings to the game, right? And if anything happens as far as somebody gets hurt, he don't complain. Yeah. He gonna waver. He gonna be the same dude. He gonna well, okay. So let's just break that down because I will say I don't agree that it's a cliff in any way. 
from either side, from Burrow is better or from Allen is better. But to his point that he's making there about, like, you know, well, no matter what, uh, Josh Allen doesn't complain. Well, no matter what, neither does Burrow. So you kind of counted yourself on that one. You know, you say, well, Josh Allen doesn't complain. Well, Burrow doesn't either. I mean, have you seen Burrow? He's the chillest human being alive. Whenever something happens, he does not react. Like, he's not the guy who gets in your face and starts screaming. He's the guy who takes accountability for himself and say, I can be better. And he tries to lead the team to be better. So, I think that point is kind of null and void. So, we're going to throw that point out the window. Second thing he brings up is, of course, clutchness. Now, again, Burrow has been to a Super Bowl. Mahomes has been to multiple. Three, actually. You know, Allen, the big hit on him is that a lot of people think, and I don't really always agree with this narrative, but I understand it, is that they think he's not clutch enough to win the big game and get to the Super Bowl. And so far, he has not been able to do that, right? That's just a sure fact of matter. Whether or not you go back to that Chiefs versus Bills game in the division round playoffs, where it was really back and forth and it came down to an overtime drive, where the Chiefs got the ball first and went down and won the game, and they had to change the whole entire rules because of it. Whether or not you think that Buffalo played better in that game, at the end of the day, you watch that last two minutes of that game, Mahomes was more clutch than Allen was. Mahomes went back and forth with Allen that last two minutes, and he dotted up that Bills defense. And while Allen did a great job too, and it shows how great he is and why I think he's the number three quarterback, you go back and forth, and those two guys have gone head-to-head in that game, and Mahomes was better. And obviously, we already know Mahomes struggles going against Burrow, which, again, that's just a fact at this moment. That's not me trashing on the Kansas City Chiefs in any way. But we already know that. And obviously, Allen has struggled versus Mahomes. I mean, struggled versus Burrow, too. Go last year in the playoffs, and last year, Week 17, before the Mar Hamlin incident, if you look back in that game, we were dominating that game. And we were going to win that game. Obviously, things didn't go, you know, an awful tragedy happened. And again, no, we don't know the outcome of that game and how it would have gone. Because, let's be honest, in football, games can go left, right, and center within a blink of an eye, right? So I think we would have won that game. But again, is it possible we would have lost it? Yes. But I just think in that game, the way it was kind of going... We went down the field, scored a touchdown. They kicked the field goal. We got the ball back, and we were driving again, right? To his last point, I will say, of, well, you know, I've never seen Joe without his weapons. That's a really bad point yet again. Because Joe has had injuries to Joe, to not only Jamar Chase, who's missed uh, multiple games. I think, what, was it six or seven games in a season? T. Higgins has missed games, let alone this season, but in the past due with injuries. So to say that is also a null point because you can't say, I haven't seen Joe without weapons. Well, Joe has played when his best receiver was either T. Higgins and then Tyler Boyd. He has played where he had hasn't had those weapons in on that offense to, you know, because of injuries. So, well, yes, it's, you know, the age-old thing everyone has always said about Mahomes when it comes to, like, oh, well, I haven't seen him play without Kelsey. I haven't seen him play without, um, what's it called, about Tyreek Hill. Yes, that is correct. I mean, obviously, now we've seen him without Tyreek Hill, but without Kelsey, he has struggled, right? And you could make the argument, well, that proves he's not good. I think that just proves that, you know, He's in a great system with great weapons, but it doesn't take away from how great of a quarterback he actually is. Now, if, you know, Allen was on all offense, would our offense be better? No, I don't believe it would be because I think Burrow fits our offense perfectly. Now, while, again, like I said before, yes, Allen is a very good, gifted, mobile quarterback, I don't know if he would go out there and put up 1,000-yard seasons every single year like LaShawn McCoy uh, said there. I think if he was in our offense, I think he'd be productive. But I think his trait of being a gusty, you know, gusty throw with the football and kind of like more like, you know, unpredictable, I think that would actually hurt him in our offense more than help him, right? And I think, again, like I said, if Joe was in their system, would he be so productive? I think he would be. Even with just Stephon Diggs, I think Joe could win a Super Bowl with the Bills offense. And again, this is not me taking a shot at the Bills, Josh Allen, or the Chiefs in any way. It's just me saying that at the end of the day, I think that Josh Allen 
is a great quarterback who has a great mobile upside. And I don't know if he can win in the clutch at the end of the day and go win a Super Bowl. But what he can do is play with one great hell of a quarterback. But Burrow is better. Burrow is the best in the NFL. At the end of the day, when Burrow's 100% and, you know, going out there and playing at top level, if you put all the quarterbacks at 100% playing their top level, Burrow is number one, number two is Mahomes, and number three is Allen. And number four is Tua. So, again, like I said, this isn't even really, I wouldn't even consider this Bengals hate, in all honesty, from LaShawn McCoy. You know, this is, I think, just a very bad point. But again, everyone has their own opinion, right? At the end of the day, everyone has their own list of which quarterback is better. And again, I'm not trying to upset someone who says, oh, I think this guy is. You think this guy is better? Then that's awesome, right? You could think that guy is better. My personal opinion, I would say Allen is number three. But you could say Allen's number one. I think the people who do put Allen outside the top five because the Bills are struggling right now, I think it's kind of idiotic. I will say, I've been always a stickler of saying for those who think Allen isn't that good or think he's too high up on the list of top 10 quarterbacks, I think it's ridiculous. I think he is a great quarterback. I think he just has different play style, and sometimes it doesn't always pan out the way you want it to because of his play style. My personal opinion, keep in mind that Burrow gets around three to 400 yards rushing a year. Sorry, not sorry.